Throughout our history, the United States has gained a significant impression from its freedom of speech, its attractions, and technological advancements. However, behind these valuable resources lies a nationwide health crisis threatening the lives of millions of Americans, the obesity pandemic. Since the 1980s, the number of overweight Americans has continued to rise, ranging from adults to young children. Unfortunately, it was discovered by researchers that two out of every three Americans are reported to be overweight. Now, thousands of individuals simply put the blame towards the laziness of Americans, simply just their inability to eat a proper, well-balanced diet, their inability to get proper exercise. Nonetheless, I will be giving a brief analysis regarding the various factors that have led to this pandemic, including findings regarding the mental health of Americans, the correlation between lack of sleep and overweightness, the surprising findings about the amount of sugar in the food we consume. Now to start this topic, I'll be discussing about consuming too much sugar in our foods. Numerous findings over the years have found direct correlations between American sugar intake and their increasing health problems. And scientists have determined that these excessive sugars in our food can lead to higher rates of obesity, heart rates, diabetes. Now this isn't a shock, many Americans know this fact. However, what a lot of Americans fail to acknowledge is that large candy and soda manufacturers have funded campaigns that have attempted to minimize the problems of consuming excessive sugar in our long-term health. For instance, looking at these ads over here, we can see we have a Welch fruit snack and then a guy eating a candy bar. Now the fruit snack advertises that it is 100% real fruit, disregarding the amount of other artificial sweeteners and sugars. And then this man right here, while it may be hard to read, it states sugar's quick energy can be the willpower you need to eat less. Another example, we have a Butterfinger ad, and instead of advertising its nutritional value or the amount of sugar it has, it's simply advertised as a quick energy pickup. And unfortunately, other corporations have done the exact same thing, including the Coca-Cola Corporation, which funded campaigns that falsely claimed that the key to losing weight was exercise, not a healthy diet. It also found that other large candy corporations have funded studies that claim that children who eat candy tend to weigh less. For our next topic, I'll be discussing the ways that sellers warp our brains into thinking certain foods are better than others. Now, consumers often send mixed messages regarding the true difference between the words diet and nutrition. And unfortunately, fast food is often popularized as a classic American meal. It's cheap, it's easy, on the go, and it's more convenient to many. And a lot of Americans find it difficult to compare these with healthy dinners. Healthy dinners with balanced fruits and veggies can often really compete with these ready-to-go meals as they require little preparation, they're simple, easy to make. And, Amer and the United States has made millions off of uh, fat supplements, including liposuction, fat burners, and diet books. And they have been found that they have not been effective in weight loss. Next, we'll cover the links between mental health and lack of sleep to obesity. It was discovered by researchers that inconsistent sleep patterns can increase the risk of becoming overweight simply because inconsistent sleep patterns promote in increased food cravings and loss of control eating. It was also discovered that certain mental illnesses give people a greater chance of becoming overweight and developing obesity, including depression, anxiety, binge eating disorders, and even disorders like schizophrenia. Unfortunately, recent studies have found that participants who were depressed, especially adolescent girls, were at a higher risk for developing obesity than non-depressed participants. All things considered, there are several key elements that play a part in America's obesity crisis, including a lack of a proper sleep schedule, mental health disorders, and the large quantities of sugar in, in the food and beverages that we consume. Essentially, there is no true cause to this nationwide problem, but rather a multitude of causes that contribute together to affect the physical health of millions of Americans. An understanding that there is no simple solution to ending this problem will offer a greater chance of developing different approaches to combat the severity of this. And that by making small adaptations to our own personal lifestyles, not only will that improve our physical and, me our physical and mental health, we're more likely to maintain a healthy weight, which will improve our quality of life in the long run. Now, a few questions that many people ask would be, why should I care about obesity if I'm not affected by it? And while it may not affect you, it affects millions around you. And obesity is, uh, increases an individual's risk factor for type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease, strokes, and certain types of cancers. This in a this then causes increased healthcare costs in the American healthcare system. 
However, it's important for everybody to understand that becoming overweight or developing obesity may not be a choice and that it, it's quite difficult to shed off the weight. And simply, it's just to understand that obesity is not a, just a simple black or white answer, but rather it comes from multiple factors, including genetics, childhood habits, medical conditions, and hormones. And lastly, is obesity a physical or mental health issue? And simply, it's both. As shown, obesity is often a symptom of the many different mental illnesses Americans can experience, include depression, binge eating, anxiety. Figuring out ways we can combat these disorders to improve the quality of our lives may alter the way we view health substantially. And as our society and ways of thinking progress, I hope we can work out different solutions to better the lives of all of our Americans.